Welcome everyone to the 2023 NFL playoffs. We have finally made it. Uh, the only matchup we're not going to see is the top left. It is indeed the Chargers, my favorite team, and the Patriots going head to head, my most hated team. So I really hope the Chargers win. Um, this is what the bracket is looking like. We could not get the one seed or the two seed. If you know, most of the season we were sitting at one and two, but we end up falling down to three due to our loss. To I believe it was it was was it the Packers? It was the Packers or the Bears we ended up losing to, and that ultimately set us up as the three seed for the second year in a row for the Vikings. Um, but this is what the standings are looking like. We got Jags Chiefs rematch. We have a Browns Dolphins matchup. Uh, Cowboys, Panthers, Vikings, Seahawks, the game will be playing, and Niners, Buccaneers, the Falcons, and the Bills both have the bye. And we'll take a look at the final stats on the season. C.J. Lewis, 441 carries, 2,700 yards, broke the NFL record for yards, and touchdowns had 34 on the season. No other running back on the team had any yards besides myself. I played every single down. Receiving-wise, Justin Jefferson and myself both had over 1,000 yards. Justin Jefferson, somehow, he was not getting the ball a lot this season. Still ended up with 1,300 yards, had 10 touchdowns, was a top receiver in the league once again. And so was I, the running back. Uh, so let's just look at this also. 62 receptions for 1,300 yards for Jefferson. I had 136 receptions for 1,200 yards and four touchdowns. And if we go to passing, Kirk Cousins... Not a great season, 3,600 3, yards, 24 touchdowns, but 24 interceptions. Really, really bad. If we go to the NFL, without a doubt, he was second, actually, in interceptions. Anthony Richardson led the league in interceptions, but he was up there for passing yards. Rushing-wise, obviously, CJ led the league by nearly 1,000 yards, led the league 12 more touchdowns than Josh Jacobs receiving wise it was led by Cooper Cup who had 1700 yards Jay Jettis was three I was five so we had two top five receivers and one of them was a running back and we did end the season 13 and four as you can see we were 13 and four the Cowboys were also 13 and four and I believe the Falcons also had the same exact record no they were 14 and three my apologies they were 14 and three um and we would have had the tiebreaker most likely over them, but they ended up winning eight games in a row to end the year. The Chargers missed out on the one seed, losing their last game. But we're heading into this matchup against the Seahawks. Wild card weekend. CJ Lewis's first ever playoff game. Let's see how he does going up against the 10-7 Seahawks, who have a really, really good defense. Their defensive points per game is number one in the league, and they have a top 10 rushing defense. Let's see if we can stop them. U.S. Bank Stadium is the home of the Vikings and the home of this super wild card weekend matchup between the Seahawks. Madden finally added all of the proper alternate and throwback jerseys in the game. And the Vikings, we got a throwback matchup here. Both throwback uniforms, both amazing. I just realized how similar the colors are. Um, maybe not a good idea, but we'll, we'll deal with it. And the Seahawks start the game off with a field goal. And the Chargers end up beating the Patriots. Ah, oh, that brings a smile to my face. Um, okay, the jerseys aren't that similar, but they're close enough where it could be a problem. But we'll deal with it. C.J. Lewis, first run of the game, is going for no yards. And they already have an injury. So I got to remember, it's been a while since I touched Superstar mode. I got to remember that we really got to just run the ball a lot. Because Kirk, third and seven, though, I'm not running. But Kirk Cousins just is abysmal in the passing game. We might go screen here. No, we'll, we'll go with a normal pass. I will be out. Um, I can't I can't motion. Um, TJ, not TJ, JJ, obviously. But I am going to get open, and I am going to get the first down. After a loss of four and a gain of three, we're stuck with third down and 11. Kirk, it's up to you, buddy. All right here. Right here, I'm going to get open. Can I break it? Oh, my God. I ran out of bounds. They're not going to let us go for it either. I hate how they won't let us go for it. Fourth and inches at midfield. You got to let us go for that in that situation, dude. Uh, good run here by C.J. Lewis. Off to a very slow start in this game. This looks like it will be the final play of the first quarter. Let's make it a good one or not. I juke a man, but the Seahawks defense is just... Locking down on D so far in this game. They are not messing around here. And I want to mention, win or lose, this will be the only season I will play with CJ I mean, CJ Lewis. I get them mixed up. Gonna have to throw that, Kirk. 
It's going to be another turnover on downs. We are struggling. But, yes, I will be reverting to another position after this season, most likely quarterback, because I just need control of the offense. Seahawks don't score again. Four and a half minutes left. Um, the running game hasn't been working, so let's try a little play action. They're going to expect a run. So let's see if a little play action works. Here, I'm going to get open. Kirk, right here. He took a while, but that's going to be a big play all the way up to midfield. C.J. Lewis with the reception. Can't do anything on the ground, but I'm getting work done in the air. Oh, yep, that's what we wanted. They're pressing Justin Jefferson. Just don't. We're putting T.J. Hawkinson on a pass block because he loves to pass it to him. Let's see. Justin Jefferson, get open. And Kirk Cousins finds him. Justin Jefferson, he's not going to be able to get into the end zone. He's close. One yard line. What a reception by Jay Jettas. And this offense is finally, finally moving the ball. Let's see if we can get in the end zone. We're going to have Justin Jefferson, not me, Justin Jefferson on a slant. This might be a risk. Just don't throw a pick, Kirk. He, okay, he throws it out of a sack. Second and goal. We're going to go to the ground with CJ. Got to go to the ground with CJ. Let, let the best player, let the MVP do his job. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. The offense finally moves the ball down the field, gets in the end zone, and gets the lead. And this is looking like it's going to be a defensive battle. We once again stop the Seahawks. And, I mean, it took us a big play from Justin Jefferson to even get anywhere. C.J. Lewis cutting back up the middle, gets the first down. But, yeah, this buzz off of um, Seahawks defense is really making life difficult for Lewis and the Vikings. But we're, trying, we're starting to find our stride here. Let's see if we can continue this momentum right here. Outlet pass to C.J. Jukes a man, cannot get there. Kirk's having a good game so far. Let's not ruin it. CJ's already got 71 yards from um, the receiving end. I was going to say from scrimmage. I don't know why. We're going to keep going with the pass. Right here. Right here, Kirk. I break free. And we're going to have to call a timeout here. We're in field goal range. Getting in the field goal range is huge. I, I'm tempted to run the ball, but we're not going to. We're going to continue with the passing game. He's going to find Hawkinson, who holds on. We're going to hurry up offense here. Hurry up offense. We're going to run the ball. They're not going to expect it. Let's see if we can get a good gain here. CJ up the middle. He's going to get the first. We're going to call our second timeout. This could be a touchdown for Justin Jefferson. Depending on how safety plays. Jefferson in the end zone. Touchdown Vikings. Capitalize on the Seahawks turnover. And the Vikings are going to take a two-score lead. Jefferson and CJ both in the end zone. 14 to 3, heading into halftime. I'm really trying to get the running game going. It's just 10 rushes, 33 yards. They just had it locked down. That was a good cut to the right, but I just did not have the speed. We're gonna, I hate to say it, but we're going to have to rely on the passing game today. We have no choice but to rely on the passing game. It's the only thing that's been working. And there it is. That's Jordan Addison with the first down. Kirk is throwing dots today. Let's keep it up. It, the run game's not working. We got to put all of our faith in Kirk Cousins. I know it's difficult to do that, but we have no choice. Right here, Kirk. Wide open. He overthrew it. Second and 10. I'm keeping the ball in the air. I'm sorry. I have no choice. We're just not gaining any positive yardage. TJ Hawkinson, good reception. I don't even know if that went for any yards, but we're forced with a third and eight. I mean, if we can get into field goal range, that'd be great. Um, this may be a bad choice, but I'm going halfback screen because what I'm thinking is maybe I can get us in the field goal range and I don't, I only get us to the 46 and it does not matter. Our defense is locking up so far, only allowing three points, which they scored in the first. And my God, I cannot go anywhere on the ground. They're going to throw it to TJ Hawkinson. He holds on. That was a scary, scary pass from Kirk because that could have easily been picked off. But the DB was not looking. I'm not. I can't run the ball. I just can't run the ball. We're going to have Jefferson in on a slant. Um, yep, this is what we're going to run. This is what we're going to run. Jefferson, he ends up getting the ball and he holds on. Our receivers are holding on to the ball. That is really, really good. Not a lot of drops here in this game. We got a second and four now. This is where we'll go back to the ground. 
I would imagine they want to pass commit. They kind of do. The middle linebacker stays. C.J. Lewis finally breaks free for something. Big run by Lewis. 22 yards. And that's a first down. And the passing finally opens up for the run game. And that right there should also open up maybe a pass after that big run. Right here. Open. C.J. Lewis gets seven. Third and 18, the good thing is we are in field goal range. It's the only positive, but there's not many other positives to this drive, if I'm gonna be honest. Never mind, that's a positive. Hawkinson in the end zone, what a pass. What a read by Kirk Cousins. Prime time Kirk is coming alive here. He's defeating all the narratives and he is balling out. That is what, his second touchdown? On the day, he has been accurate. Way to find the tight end wide open and just walks into the end zone. And once again, we stopped the Seahawks. They got outscored 21-0 after they scored in the first quarter. And we are now going into true clock mode. CJ Lewis, another big run. Jukes a man, gets the first down. Oh my God, that's, oh, it's not gonna be, ooh. So close to a touchdown. And after this drive, CJ might, maybe, maybe, might get 100 yards after that abysmal first half. Really abysmal first three quarters until I had a big run. He may break 300 yards, I mean 100 yards, and that's a touchdown. CJ Lewis in the end zone. What a game by this offense. Just got, got completely dominated in that first quarter and part of the second quarter. And just after that Justin Jefferson touchdown, Going into halftime, we've just completely taken over. Oh my god, I just noticed that the Panthers beat the Cowboys. Wow, the seven, not, yeah, the seven seed takes out the two seed. That's insane. You know what else is insane? This run by CJ. Oh my god. Look at the numbers now for Lewis. He was so bad. 12 for 30 yards at one point. In nine r rushes, nine attempts, he's gone for nearly 100 yards. Most likely going to be the final play of the game. C.J. Lewis running it. It's not going to matter if he gets it or not. That is going to do it. The Vikings are going to move on to the divisional round. And that is all she wrote. The Minnesota Vikings win 28-3 and head on to the divisional round to most likely face the winner of whatever other matchup there was because I completely forgot. Oh, I think it's Buccaneers and I forgot. Buccaneers someone. Okay. I, who the hell was it? That was going to bother me. It was the Falcons as the one seed. Cowboys as the two seed. We were the three seed. The four seed was the Niners. All right, we will face either the Niners or the Buccaneers. Ooh, that's going to be a good matchup. Two amazing defenses. Uh, Kirk Cousins. Amazing, absolutely stellar game. This is the time where we need you to play like this. 19-22, 235 yards and two touchdowns. That big touchdown to Justin Jefferson in the second quarter led us to just dominate. Um, I mean, Geno Smith didn't have a bad game. 18-30, of 30, 180 yards, just had no touchdowns. Um, and then C.J. Lewis, dude. He started off the game 12 rushes, 30 yards, and ended the game 24 of 129, getting two touchdowns on the ground. I mean, did Kenneth Walker get hurt? Yeah, Kenneth Walker ended up getting hurt. Um, Receiving-wise, Justin, Justin Jefferson. C.J. Lewis, 9 attempts, 88 yards in the air. And then Justin Jefferson, 4 catches, 87 yards, and a touchdown. Great game. T.J. Hawkinson had another touchdown. And defensively, Harrison Smith and Harrison Phillips. The Harrisons both get a half a sack. No interceptions in this game. Three tackles for loss for Jamal Adams, all on me. Our defense locked up. Their offense could not do anything. They scored three points in that first quarter, and that's it. We just went on a run. Anyways, that's going to be for me. Be sure to stay tuned next week when we go into the divisional round. That's it. GG.